In the diagnostics menu, the user can view the electronic type plate data, such as the control section, firmware in the drive, and the motor connected to the drive. In the device extended tab, it will show the error log, the index of the device, and the index of each of the boards that make up the drive. If we go back to the diagnostics menu, the local I.O. can be monitored and the status of the analog input can also be monitored. Here it shows how the analog input is configured and assigned. The diagnostics of the cross communication to the drive, CCD, is possible if the option is available in the unit. In the overview option, will take us back to the original overview screen. The access status shows a glance of the connected device. You can clear errors in the unit here, or you can have the details reduced or extended. In the diagnostics trades option, it shows the errors that have happened. This log can be saved and emailed if you are connected to the email server. The list can be minimized or extended for more detail, like time. The time is based on the time of the device. Power and energy management shows how much power is being consumed by the device for mains power, DC bus power, and motor power, either how much power is being consumed or how much power is being regenerated. One key feature of the diagnostics menu is the oscilloscope function. It allows up to eight signals that can be pulled from the device. Different traces can be configured with different triggers and select different signals. Once signals is clicked, this has pre-assigned signals. Torque generated current actual value, effective torque force command value, torque generating current command value. The signals can be removed by selecting the signal and pressing the back button. To add signals on the left side, select the signal and press the forward button. For example, let us see the velocity feedback, torque force feedback, and let's see the position feedback. Once finished, click OK. Then define the trigger point. This could be an automatic trigger, manual trigger, or a signal trigger. I will select signal trigger. Now let's define what signal to trigger off of. In this example, we will use velocity feedback. And we will trigger off a rising edge with a value of 50 millimeters per minute to trigger or start recording, with a 40% pre-trigger to show 40% before it was triggered. Press the Start button, and once the condition has been satisfied, it will start to capture the data up to four seconds, capturing 8,192 points at half a millisecond intervals. You are ready to use IntraWorks DS as diagnostics for your device. Thanks for your attention.